The Rover, is a 1677 play written by Afra Ben, a prominent female playwright of the Restoration era. The play is a comedy set in the midst of carnival time in Naples, Italy. It explores themes of love, deception, gender roles, and social class, all within a lively and entertaining context. Here's a detailed play summary. Act 1. The play opens in Naples during the carnival season. We are introduced to two sisters, Helena and Florinda, who are of noble birth but have fallen on hard times due to their father's death and their lack of a dowry. They decide to escape the confines of their convent and join in the festivities. Helena, a witty and free-spirited young woman, is excited about the prospect of experiencing life and love outside the convent walls. Meanwhile, we also meet a group of English cavaliers who are in Naples for the carnival. One of them is the titular, Rover, Wilmore. He's a charming and rakish character who is notorious for his romantic escapades and flings with women. Act 2. Helena and Florinda attend a masquerade ball, where they encounter the cavaliers. Florinda is in love with a nobleman named Belville, who is also among the cavaliers. She is desperate to escape an arranged marriage with a rich but old and repulsive man named Don Vincentio. Helena, on the other hand, becomes fascinated by Wilmore's cavalier attitude and attempts to seduce him. She uses her wit and charm to engage in a playful flirtation with him, leading to a sort of love at first sight dynamic between them. Act 3. Florinda's efforts to escape her arranged marriage become more desperate, and she disguises herself as a gypsy woman to get close to Belleville. She reveals her true identity to him, and they plan to elope. Meanwhile, Wilmore encounters a woman named Angelica, a courtesan of high status. He is drawn to her, but she is resistant to his advances, wanting him to prove his love through sincerity rather than mere lust. This adds a layer of complexity to Wilmore's character as he starts to question his usual approach to women. Act 4. As the carnival festivities continue, various romantic entanglements and misunderstandings unfold. Florinda's brother, Don Pedro, discovers her plan to elope with Belleville and intervenes to protect her honor. Helena and Wilmore's flirtation escalates, and she tests his feelings for her. Angelica's former lover, Antonio, plots revenge against her by trying to trick Wilmore into thinking that Angelica is in love with him, only to later expose her supposed infidelity. However, this plan backfires when Angelica and Wilmore reconcile and expose Antonio's deceit. Act 5. The final act brings resolution to the various plotlines. Florinda and Belleville's love triumphs as they are reunited, despite the obstacles they faced. Helena and Wilmore's relationship deepens, with Wilmore genuinely falling in love with her. His transformation from a carefree rover to a committed lover is evident in his actions. The play ends on a note of celebration, with couples coming together and the festivities of the carnival continuing. The themes of love, passion, and the complexities of human emotions are explored throughout the play, along with commentary on societal expectations and gender roles. The Rover, is a lively and witty comedy that delves into the complexities of love and attraction while offering a glimpse into the social dynamics of its time. It remains one of Afra Ben's most celebrated works and a notable contribution to Restoration-era literature. Character Introductions Helena At the beginning of the play, Helena is introduced as a spirited young woman who is tired of the restrictions of the convent. She's determined to experience life and love beyond its walls. For example, when she says, I have thought how to get loose from these bonds of ceremony, it shows her desire for freedom. Florinda. Florinda is Helena's sister, and she's in love with Belleville. Her situation is more serious, as she's being forced into an arranged marriage with the repulsive Don Vincentio. This predicament sets up her motivation to escape. Her dialogue with Belleville reveals her emotions. Oh, Belleville. To what a wretch am I designed? Wilmore. Wilmore is the play's central character, known as the Rover. He's a charismatic English cavalier who enjoys pursuing women. He's initially more interested in casual affairs, as he states, I have enough of oaths and women, and will try if I can find any pleasure in their opposites. The Carnival Atmosphere The carnival setting allows for disguises and playful interactions. Characters wear masks and costumes, giving them the opportunity to act more freely and mischievously. The bustling streets and joyful atmosphere reflect the idea of temporary freedom from societal norms. Love and Attraction Helena's flirtation with Wilmore showcases her wit and charm. For instance, she playfully challenges Wilmore, saying, Shall I make you knave and fool together? Wilmore's pursuit of Angelica reveals his complexity. 
He's genuinely intrigued by her, as shown when he says, there's something in this woman that overcomes me. Angelica's interaction with Wilmore demonstrates her demand for sincerity and love. She tells him, if you dare speak what you think, I shall allow your sincerity. Disguise and Deception Florinda's disguise as a gypsy woman allows her to interact with Belleville without revealing her identity. This scene showcases her determination to be with the one she loves, despite the obstacles. Antonio's plot to trick Angelica and Wilmore involves disguising himself as a woman. This showcases the theme of deception and the character's willingness to manipulate for their own ends. Gender Roles and Power Dynamics Helena challenges traditional gender roles by actively pursuing Wilmore. She asserts herself, saying, I am resolved to know who I shall like. Angelica's high social status and independence as a courtesan challenge conventional expectations of women in society. Resolution and Transformation The play concludes with various couples reconciling and finding happiness, such as Florinda and Belleville, and Angelica and Wilmore. This resolution reinforces the idea that love can conquer obstacles. Wilmore's transformation from a carefree rover to a sincere lover is evident in his final actions. He defends Helena's honor and genuinely expresses his love for her. Social Commentary The play offers commentary on the societal pressures and restrictions placed on women. Florinda's situation highlights the challenges women faced in arranged marriages. The Cavaliers' interactions with Angelica explore the dynamics between the rich and powerful and those they exploit. In conclusion, The Rover is a rich and intricate play that weaves together themes of love, freedom, gender roles, and social class within the context of a vibrant carnival setting. The characters' interactions and transformations, as well as the play's exploration of societal norms, make it a fascinating and engaging work of Restoration-era comedy. The Rover by Afra Ben explores several themes that are central to the play's narrative and character development. Here are some of the prominent themes in the play, along with explanations and examples. Love and Passion Love is a central theme, manifested through various romantic relationships. Characters experience both superficial attraction and deeper emotional connections. For instance, Helena's flirtation with Wilmore develops into a genuine emotional connection, and Florinda's love for Belleville drives her to escape an unwanted arranged marriage. Freedom and Rebellion The theme of freedom is closely tied to the carnival setting. Characters use the carnival as a temporary escape from societal constraints, and the sisters Helena and Florinda rebel against their confined lives in the convent. Their pursuit of personal happiness reflects their desire for freedom. Deception and Disguise Deception and disguise are prevalent throughout the play, adding intrigue and humor to the plot. Florinda disguises herself as a gypsy to meet Belleville, and characters often hide their true intentions behind masks and costumes during the carnival. Gender Roles and Empowerment The play challenges traditional gender roles of the time. Helena and Angelica assert their agency in pursuing romantic interests, defying societal expectations. Angelica, as a courtesan, holds power and independence in a male-dominated society. Social class and status. Social class influences characters' decisions and interactions. Florinda's arranged marriage reflects the importance of wealth and status in matchmaking. Angelica's profession as a courtesan explores the dynamic between social status and personal agency. Transformation and growth. Characters undergo transformations throughout the play. Wilmore evolves from a womanizing rover to a sincere lover, and Helena matures as she navigates the complexities of romance and society. Honor and Reputation Honor and reputation play a significant role in characters' decisions. Florinda's brother, Don Pedro, seeks to protect her honor by intervening in her relationship with Belleville. Antonio's plot to expose Angelica's supposed infidelity is driven by a desire for revenge. Human Nature and Desire the play delves into the complexity of human desires, exploring the interplay between physical attraction, emotional connection, and societal expectations. Characters' motivations and actions are often driven by their innate desires. Irony and Humor The Rover is a comedy, and humor is derived from the characters' misunderstandings, witty dialogue, and absurd situations. The use of irony highlights the contrast between characters' intentions and the outcomes of their actions. Carnival is a symbol. The carnival setting serves as a metaphor for the temporary suspension of rules and norms. It allows characters to step outside their usual roles and engage in playful, adventurous behavior. These themes intertwine to create a multifaceted exploration of love, freedom, and social dynamics in the context of 17th-century society. 
Ben's skillful use of these themes adds depth and complexity to the characters and their interactions, making The Rover a captivating and enduring work of restoration comedy. Sexuality and Desire The play delves into the realm of sexuality, portraying characters' desires and the complexities of sexual relationships. This theme is evident in the interactions between characters like Helena and Wilmore, as well as in Angelica's profession as a courtesan. Conflict between duty and desire. Several characters grapple with conflicting desires and responsibilities. Florinda's struggle between her love for Belleville and her duty to her family exemplifies this theme. She must choose between following her heart and fulfilling societal expectations. Morality and ethics. The play explores moral dilemmas and ethical choices. Characters like Wilmore must confront their own behavior and decide whether to pursue fleeting pleasures or engage in deeper connections that align with their values. Femininity and Masculinity The play questions traditional notions of femininity and masculinity. Characters like Helena and Angelica challenge stereotypical gender roles, while the Cavalier's behavior raises questions about masculinity in the context of romantic relationships. Power and Control Power dynamics are present in both romantic and societal contexts. Angelica holds power through her profession, but her vulnerability in matters of the heart reveals a different kind of power struggle. The interactions between characters highlight the negotiation of power in relationships. Social Hypocrisy The play exposes the hypocrisy within society, particularly in its treatment of women. Characters may publicly uphold certain ideals while privately engaging in behavior that contradicts those ideals. Cultural Clash the presence of English cavaliers in Naples creates a cultural clash, allowing for commentary on different social norms and customs. The interactions between English and Italian characters highlight cultural differences and similarities. Cynicism and Romanticism The play balances cynicism and romanticism in its portrayal of love. While some characters, like Wilmore, are initially cynical about love, their experiences challenge their perspectives and lead to more romantic outcomes. Fate and Chance the play explores the role of fate and chance in shaping characters' lives. Random encounters and unexpected events at the carnival set the stage for romantic entanglements and character development. Social Commentary on Restoration Society The Rover provides insight into the social and moral complexities of Restoration-era society, including issues like arranged marriages, class distinctions, and the role of women. The characters' actions and dilemmas reflect the broader context of their time. As you can see, The Rover encompasses a wide range of themes that contribute to its rich and multifaceted exploration of human relationships, societal norms, and individual desires. These themes work together to create a thought-provoking and entertaining play that continues to resonate with audiences today. Dot. Exploration of female agency. The Rover is remarkable for its portrayal of strong and assertive female characters, particularly Helena and Angelica. These characters challenge societal norms of their time by actively pursuing their desires and asserting their agency in matters of love and relationships. Ben's portrayal of these women reflects her own progressive views and adds a feminist undertone to the play. 2. Subversion of Gender Roles The play subverts traditional gender roles by allowing its female characters to take on active roles in romance and decision-making. Helena's pursuit of Wilmore and Angelica's negotiation of her own terms in relationships disrupt the traditional norms of passivity and submission often associated with women in restoration drama. 3. Carnivalesque Elements The carnival setting serves as a backdrop for various transformations and role reversals. During the carnival, characters don masks and disguises, providing a sense of temporary liberation from their usual societal roles. This carnival atmosphere allows for the exploration of hidden desires, deceptions, and unexpected encounters, creating a dynamic and entertaining plot. 4. Critique of Social Hypocrisy Through its characters and their actions, the play critiques the hypocrisy present in Restoration Society. While characters may uphold appearances in public, their private lives reveal a different reality. The dual standards surrounding love, fidelity, and morality are exposed, adding a layer of social commentary. 5. Complexity of Love The Rover delves into the complexities of love, highlighting the nuances between physical attraction, emotional connection, and societal pressures. The various romantic relationships in the play showcase a range of emotions, from playful flirtation to genuine love, allowing for a nuanced exploration of human feelings. 6. Wilmore's Transformation The character of Wilmore undergoes a notable transformation throughout the play. 
His evolution from a carefree and cynical rover to a sincere and committed lover adds depth to his character. This transformation reflects the play's exploration of love's transformative power and its ability to change individuals. 7. Critique of Class Distinctions The play engages with the theme of social class and how it affects relationships. Characters like Belleville and Florinda challenge class barriers in their love story, while Angelica's profession as a courtesan exposes the intersections of power, wealth, and social status. 8. Restoration Society and Morality The Rover offers insights into the moral landscape of Restoration Society. The characters' actions and choices reflect the moral dilemmas and conflicts of the time. The play's examination of love, honor, and fidelity serves as a lens through which to view the complexities of societal expectations. 9. Influence on Restoration Drama Afra Ben's play is a significant work within the realm of restoration drama. It contributed to the rise of female playwrights during this era and established Ben as a trailblazer. Her exploration of love, gender, and societal norms paved the way for subsequent playwrights to tackle similar themes in their works. In conclusion, The Rover is a multifaceted play that goes beyond its comedic elements to explore themes of female agency, gender roles, love's complexities, and societal critiques. Through its dynamic characters, engaging plot, and exploration of cultural and social dynamics, the play remains a pivotal work in the restoration drama canon, offering both entertainment and thought-provoking insights into its era and beyond. Dot, ethics of love and lust The rover examines the distinction between genuine romantic feelings and mere lust. The characters' interactions prompt questions about the ethical boundaries of pursuing physical desires versus forming meaningful emotional connections. This exploration adds a layer of depth to the play's portrayal of relationships. 11. Cultural Diversity and Identity The play features both English and Italian characters, offering insights into cultural diversity and identity. The interactions between these characters highlight differences in customs, norms, and communication styles, allowing for commentary on cultural clashes and exchanges. 12. Double Entendre and Wit Afra Ben's skillful use of double entendre and witty dialogue contributes to the play's humor and complexity. Characters engage in clever wordplay that often masks their true intentions. This linguistic playfulness adds depth to the characters and underscores the themes of deception and miscommunication. 13. Emotional Vulnerability The Rover showcases characters' emotional vulnerabilities, which are often hidden beneath their bravado. Wilmore, for instance, is initially seen as a confident and carefree rover, but his emotional transformation reveals his inner struggles and insecurities. 14. Balancing Comedy and Seriousness The play masterfully blends comedy with moments of seriousness and introspection. While there are humorous situations and witty exchanges, the characters also grapple with genuine emotions, societal pressures, and ethical dilemmas. This balance contributes to the play's multidimensionality. 15. Exploration of Morality Through Irony Ben employs irony to critique societal norms and expectations. The characters' actions and outcomes often subvert these norms, leading to ironic situations that challenge the audience's perceptions of morality and virtue. 16. Political Subtext The Rover can also be read as having political undertones, reflecting the political climate of Restoration England. The play's themes of freedom, rebellion, and the temporary suspension of rules can be seen as reflections of the broader socio-political context. 17. Complexity of Angelica's Character Angelica, the courtesan, is one of the play's most intriguing characters. Her negotiation of power, emotions, and social expectations adds layers to the exploration of love and relationships. Her profession and her interactions with men provide insights into the complexities of her character. 18. Legacy and Influence The Rover remains relevant and influential in modern theater due to its exploration of themes that continue to resonate today. Its portrayal of strong female characters, complex emotions, and societal critiques has left a lasting impact on subsequent works of drama and literature. 19. Audience Engagement and Interpretation The play's layers of meaning and intricate character dynamics encourage audience engagement and interpretation. Different audiences and time periods may interpret the characters' actions and choices differently, adding to the play's enduring appeal. 20. Relevance to Contemporary Conversations Many themes in The Rover, such as the dynamics of love, gender roles, and societal expectations, remain topics of discussion in contemporary society. 
The play's exploration of these themes contributes to ongoing conversations about identity, relationships, and empowerment. In summary, The Rover is a rich tapestry of themes, characters, and cultural commentary. Its exploration of love, gender, morality, and societal norms, coupled with its comedic elements and complex character dynamics, make it a timeless work that continues to captivate audiences and invite critical analysis. The Rover is a quintessential example of a restoration drama, capturing the spirit, themes, and characteristics that defined this theatrical period in English history. Restoration drama emerged in the late 17th century, following the restoration of the monarchy under King Charles II. It was characterized by its witty dialogue, exploration of social dynamics, and blend of comedy and complexity. The Rover encapsulates these traits and more. 1. Wit and Verbal Dexterity Restoration drama was known for its sharp wit and clever dialogue. The Rover showcases this aspect through its characters' witty repartee and playful banter. The use of double entendre, puns, and wordplay adds a layer of sophistication to the conversations and contributes to the comedic tone. 2. Social satire and critique. Restoration drama often used comedy to satirize and critique social norms, customs, and behaviors of the time. The Rover engages in this tradition by presenting characters who defy conventional morality, challenge gender roles, and expose the hypocrisy of society. The play's exploration of love, desire, and power reflects the larger societal shifts occurring during the Restoration period. 3. Themes of Love and Lust Restoration drama frequently explored themes of love, desire, and sexual intrigue. The Rover delves into the complexities of love and attraction through its characters' interactions. It questions the dichotomy between genuine emotional connection and carnal lust, a common theme in plays of this era. 4. Libertine Characters Many restoration plays featured libertine characters who challenged traditional moral standards and pursued pleasure without restraint. Wilmore, the titular rover, embodies this libertine archetype with his pursuit of romantic conquests. His transformation from a carefree libertine to a sincere lover is a key aspect of his character arc. 5. Exploration of Gender and Identity Restoration drama often depicted unconventional women who defied societal norms and expectations. In The Rover, characters like Helena and Angelica challenge gender roles and assert their agency in matters of love. Their actions and dialogues reflect the changing perspectives on gender and identity during the Restoration period. 6. Moral Ambiguity and Irony Restoration drama thrived on moral ambiguity and irony. The characters' actions frequently lead to unexpected outcomes, and their moral dilemmas serve as fodder for both comedy and contemplation. The Rover employs irony to highlight the contrast between characters' intentions and the consequences of their choices. 7. Carnival Setting and Disguise The carnival setting in The Rover is emblematic of restoration drama's penchant for intrigue and disguise. Characters don masks and costumes, creating an atmosphere of playful deception. This setting allows for characters to reveal their true selves while also exploring the fluidity of identity. 8. Lively Atmosphere and Entertainment Restoration drama aimed to entertain its audiences with lively plots, comedic situations, and dramatic twists. The Rover achieves this through its vibrant carnival scenes, romantic entanglements, and fast-paced narrative. 9. Cultural Influences and Diversity Restoration drama often drew inspiration from various cultural sources, and, The Rover, is no exception. The play's Italian setting and interactions between English and Italian characters reflect the era's fascination with cultural diversity and exploration. In conclusion, The Rover aligns closely with the characteristics and themes that define restoration drama. Its witty dialogue, exploration of social dynamics, subversion of norms, and complex characters make it a prime example of the genre. The play's ability to blend comedy with deeper themes and societal critique highlights its enduring relevance and significance within the Restoration theatrical tradition. Comedy of Manners The Rover falls under the subgenre of Comedy of Manners, which focuses on satirizing the manners, behaviors, and social conventions of the upper classes. The play uses exaggerated characters and situations to highlight the absurdity and hypocrisy of the aristocracy's behavior. 11. Restoration Idealization of Love Restoration dramas often idealize the concept of love as a powerful force that could transform individuals. The Rover 
follows this tradition by showcasing characters who undergo personal growth and change due to their experiences with love, whether it's Wilmore's transformation or Angelica's vulnerability. 12. Body Humor and Sexual Innuendo Restoration drama was known for its body humor and sexual innuendo, often using risque language and suggestive situations for comedic effect. The Rover features moments of sexual tension, flirtation, and wordplay that cater to the audience's taste for titillation. 13. Cultural Influences and Exoticism Restoration drama often incorporated exotic settings and characters to intrigue audiences. The Rover includes Italian characters and a Mediterranean backdrop, providing a sense of cultural exoticism that was popular among restoration audiences fascinated by foreign locales. 14. Dynamic Female Characters Restoration drama challenged traditional perceptions of women by presenting strong and independent female characters. In The Rover, Helena and Angelica defy societal expectations and exhibit agency in their romantic pursuits, reflecting the changing roles of women in the period. 15. Restoration Societal Changes the Rover reflects the broader societal changes that occurred during the Restoration era. The return of Charles II and the end of Puritan rule brought about shifts in social norms, leading to greater openness and exploration of themes related to love, sexuality, and personal freedoms. 16. Class Distinctions and Social Mobility Restoration drama often explored the fluidity of social class and the potential for social mobility. The Rover addresses this theme through the characters' interactions across different social strata, showcasing how love and desire can transcend traditional class boundaries. 17. Moral Ambiguity of Libertinism Libertinism, the philosophy of indulgence in pleasure and personal freedom, was a prevalent theme in Restoration drama. The Rover presents the moral ambiguity of libertinism through characters like Wilmore, whose pursuit of pleasure blurs the lines between virtue and vice. 18. Blending of Tragedy and Comedy Restoration drama often incorporated elements of both tragedy and comedy, leading to a genre known as tragicomedy. While, The Rover, primarily falls under the comedy category, it also includes moments of emotional intensity and dramatic tension, contributing to its multifaceted nature. 19. Reflection of Society's Contradictions Restoration drama mirrored the contradictions of its society, ranging from the pursuit of personal freedoms to the adherence to social norms. The Rover captures these contradictions through characters who grapple with their desires while navigating societal expectations. 20. Influence on Restoration Theater The Rover played a significant role in shaping the trajectory of restoration drama. As one of the earliest successful plays written by a woman, Afra Ben paved the way for more female playwrights and contributed to the diversification of themes and perspectives within the genre. In summary, The Rover exemplifies the characteristics of restoration drama, such as wit, social commentary, exploration of love and desire, dynamic characters, and a blend of comedy and complexity. The play's reflection of societal changes, challenging of gender norms, and ability to entertain while addressing deeper themes showcase its enduring impact within the restoration theatrical tradition. The Rover features a cast of diverse and intriguing characters. Let's delve into each character in detail. 1. Captain Wilmore. Captain Wilmore is the titular rover, an English cavalier known for his adventurous and amorous escapades. He is charismatic, witty, and skilled in the art of seduction. At the beginning of the play, he is more interested in casual affairs, but his encounters with Helena and Angelica lead to a transformation in his views on love. His journey from a libertine to a sincere lover adds depth to his character. 2. Helena. Helena is a lively and spirited young woman who escapes the convent to experience the world during the carnival. She is confident, intelligent, and determined to assert her agency in matters of love. Her flirtatious interactions with Wilmore showcase her wit and her willingness to challenge societal norms. Over the course of the play, her relationship with Wilmore evolves into a genuine emotional connection. 3. Florinda Florinda is Helena's sister, and her story revolves around her love for Belleville. She is initially betrothed to the repulsive Don Vincentio. Florinda's situation highlights the challenges women faced in arranged marriages. Her determination to be with Belleville leads her to disguise herself as a gypsy, allowing her to navigate obstacles and assert her feelings. 4. Angelica Bianca. Angelica is a courtesan of high status and intellect. She is a complex character, displaying both vulnerability and strength. Angelica is initially resistant to Wilmore's advances, desiring a deeper emotional connection rather than superficial attraction. 
Her interactions with Wilmore expose her inner conflict between the power she holds as a courtesan and her yearning for genuine love. 5. Don Pedro Don Pedro is Florinda and Helena's brother. He is protective of his sisters and intervenes to safeguard their honor. Don Pedro is initially portrayed as a stern and authoritative figure, but he shows moments of genuine care for his sister's happiness. His actions reflect the restoration or a concern for family reputation. 6. Belville Belville is one of the English cavaliers and a close friend of Wilmore. He is in love with Florinda and is determined to rescue her from the clutches of Don Vincentio. Belville's unwavering devotion to Florinda contrasts with Wilmore's more libertine attitude toward women, highlighting different approaches to love. 7. Don Vincentio Don Vincentio is the wealthy but repulsive nobleman to whom Florinda is initially betrothed. His pursuit of Florinda despite her resistance highlights the theme of forced marriages and the power dynamics involved. His comedic interactions with his servant Blunt contribute to the play's humorous elements. 8. Blunt Blunt is Don Vincentio's loyal servant. He is often manipulated by other characters due to his gullible nature, providing comic relief. Blunt's comedic misadventures add an element of farce to the play and highlight the contrast between the nobility and the lower class. 9. Antonio Antonio is Angelica's former lover, driven by jealousy and revenge. He plots to deceive both Angelica and Wilmore by disguising himself as a woman. Antonio's actions showcase the darker side of relationships and the consequences of unrequited love. 10. Moretta. Moretta is Helena's maid who accompanies her to the carnival. She represents the lower class and provides a window into the world of the servant class. Her role is primarily comedic, contributing to the play's lighthearted moments. These characters collectively contribute to the intricate web of relationships, themes, and social dynamics that define the rover. Each character's motivations, actions, and interactions offer insights into the complexities of love, desire, gender roles, and societal expectations during the Restoration era. Stephanie Stephanie is an Italian courtesan who becomes entangled in the Cavalier's antics during the carnival. Her interactions with Blunt provide moments of humor and contribute to the play's farcical elements. Stephanie's character adds to the diversity of women's roles in the play, showcasing different perspectives on love and relationships. 12. Callus. Callus is Angelica's servant, providing a contrast to the more prominent characters. He represents the working class and serves as a foil to the upper class character's extravagant behavior. While he has a minor role, Callus offers insights into the world outside the aristocracy. 13. Morella. Morella is Florinda's maid and a confidant. While her role is not as central as others, she offers moments of support and companionship to Florinda. Morella's presence reinforces the theme of sisterhood and camaraderie among women in different social positions. 14. Don Antonio Don Antonio is Florinda's father, and though he does not appear on stage, his decisions and arrangements drive the initial conflict. His insistence on an arranged marriage for Florinda reflects the societal norms and familial pressures of the time. 15. The Carnival Revelers Various minor characters and revelers appear throughout the play, adding to the atmosphere of the carnival and the sense of chaos and celebration. These characters contribute to the overall vibrant setting and dynamic interactions. In The Rover, each character plays a distinct role in advancing the plot and exploring the play's themes. They collectively create a tapestry of emotions, motivations, and interactions that reflect the complexities of restoration society and its diverse range of perspectives on love, desire, and social norms.